Welcome to Chemistry Lover and today in this video we are going to discuss about pinacol pinacolone rearrangement. So before going into the discussion of pinacol pinacolone rearrangement we first need to know what is pinacol. So pinacol is the trivial name of 1 2 diol. So this is 1 2 diol and this is known as pinacol right and now uh, when these 1 2 diols they are substituted like they have methyl groups or any other groups so if you give acid like h2so4 dilute h2so4 you will get a rearranged product like this and this is called pinacolone right so this reaction is called pinacol pinacolone rearrangement and in this video we will look into the mechanism of this and we will also discuss some of the important examples of this reaction. So watch this video till the end. Now what should be the mechanism of this reaction? So let us start from the beginning. So this is our substrate pinacol and we are giving acid. So this acid will protonate any of these hydroxyl groups right so this will be the first thing now from this uh, water can be liberated to give you this carbocation right so this is our carbocation now this carbocation will be rearranged how it can rearrange uh, you can see this oxygen has lone pair so it can push its lone pair here and by this electron push this methyl group can be shifted towards this positive center. So from here you are going to get this. So this is migration of alkyl group towards a carbocation and this is very common you know about this. And now after this proton liberation you will get this pinacolone thing. So this is the basic mechanism of pinacol pinacolone rearrangement. Now, uh, in this particular examples, example, we have both methyl groups. Here we have two methyl groups, right? So, which group will migrate? There is no question. Any of them can migrate and both will result similar. But uh, when we have two different groups, then a question of migrating aptitude comes. And it is observed that a group having more electron or which is rich in electron that will migrate uh, in preference to a group which is having uh, lesser electron density. So the migrating apti aptitude order will be like this phenyl will have highest migrating aptitude then trimethyl, uh, trimethyl carbon uh, or tertiary butyl group right tertiary butyl group then we have this uh, MeCH2 group and methyl will have the least migrating aptitude among all these. Now if you have a substituted uh, benzene ring then let us say you have a OME substituted phenyl ring right. So let us say this is your group and you are comparing it with a normal phenyl group. So, of course, this will have high, higher migrating aptitude than normal methyl phenyl group because it has this ele extra electron donation and it will have. Uh, so, um, now if you have some electron donating groups like nitro, so then that will have lower migrating aptitude. So, the um, thing is very simple a group having higher electron density will migrate uh, will migrate in preference to a group which is having lower electron density. Let us uh, see with some example. So let us say you have this compound where you have phenyl group and methyl group on both sides. Now if you give proton first thing first uh, you will have a carbocation like this right carbocation generation. Uh, it can generate in any of these two sides and both will give same result. So this is the first thing what will happen here and now so you have two possibilities either this methyl group can migrate or 
this phenyl group can migrate and as we have discussed earlier that phenyl is having higher electron density. So, it will migrate in preference to this methyl group and you will get this as your product right. So, this will be your product and this product is not observed. So, uh, another possibility would be methyl group migration which will give you this product, but this product is not observed or uh, it is observed in a very minor amount right. So, this is not our correct answer, our correct answer is this one right. So, you understood what is migrating aptitude. Now, let us see, now let us see the next point that is um, the in which side the carbocation will form when we have a unsymmetrical uh, compound, unsymmetrical pinacol. For example, uh, let us say we have a pinacol like this where we have two phenyl groups in one side and in another side we have two methyl groups. So, if you just uh, know about migrating aptitude and nothing else, then you will say that uh, this will be our product. You will say that this will be our product. So, this is our product and another possibility which is this one uh, which is this one will not be the case because we have said that uh, the group having uh, higher electron density will migrate. So, you will say that phenyl will migrate, but uh, here you will do a mistake because you first have to know which carbocation will form because from this particular thing if you give proton two carbocations can be generated. One is in this side right, one is in this side. This is one possibility and another one is this one. PH, PH, OH and this another one is this possibility. Now, you have to know which carbocation will generate and which will not. Uh, to know that you have to know about the stability of carbocation and uh, we know that phenyl group is much better in a stabilizing carbocation compared to methyl group. So, this carbocation will form and this will not and if only this carbocation forms then the question of migrating aptitude does not even come here and only methyl group can migrate right to give you which product? This product right to give you this product. So, this is our product, but if you just um, talk about migrating aptitude then this should be our product, but it is not right. Now, the next thing is by pinacol pinacolone rearrangement we can have ring expansion and this is illustrated by this nice example. So, let us say this is your substrate if you give proton what will happen? So, it will give you this rearranged product. Now, I will suggest you to uh, carry out the mechanism of this reaction by your own and after that you watch this video. So, I, I am working it out for you. So, first protonation will occur right and uh, carbocation formation will occur. So, in any of the two any any of the two side carbocation can form right. So, in any of the two sides carbocation can form. So, let us say here carbocation forms and here we have intact OH group. Now, when this OH group push electron, this group will migrate right very simple. So, if this migrates you will have this thing right and after proton liberation you will get this. So, this is a ring expansion reaction. We have uh, many other uh, examples of pinacol, pinacolone rearrangement. Uh, I can discuss um, that examples for you. If you want that let me know in the comment section and also let me know in the comment section that how was this video. Thank you for watching.